In digital photography, shooting with different in-camera styles can provide a unique perspective on your photos. And with many new cameras, it's really easy to change the style right from the back of your screen. So we can shoot with modified tones and colors or even in black and white really easily. Well, let's say we're shooting with a raw image file, but we're wanting a black and white style. When shooting, we're gonna see a black and white image on the back of our camera. But when we open up that raw image file inside Photo Raw, it's going to show us an unmodified raw image that's actually in color. So if we wanted to match the look that we saw on the back of our camera, we could use the new AI match feature to do that. So inside Photo Raw 2020, let's take a look at some raw images that have different in-camera styles applied. Let's start with this photo right here of Johnny. When this photo was taken, it was shot with an in-camera black and white style. So on the back of the camera, it was showing a black and white photograph. But if we head into our edit module here, when it opens the photo up, it's going to show us an unmodified raw image that's actually in color. So if we want to match what we saw on the back of the camera, that nice black and white look, we can head down to AI Match. It does an awesome job of matching the look that was on the back of the camera. And I can even go below it and I can pull back on this AI Match to remove or add in more. Let's go back to Browse and I'll show you one more example. With this photo, this was actually taken on a Fujifilm camera. And Fujifilm is well known for its in-camera processing styles. And you can't really tell with this photo, but it was shot with a desaturating film look. So let's head into the edit module. And if we want to bring back that film look, let's head down and we'll choose AI Match. And it does a great job of bringing back that nice film look that was captured on the back of the camera. And just like all of the settings inside Photo Raw, they're all non-destructive and re-editable. So if I want to add on to this AI match look, I can go into effects, I'll add a filter, and let's just finish this photo up with a vintage filter. I'm just going to head in and I'll lower the opacity a little bit so that it's not so strong. So now if we hit the backslash key in our keyboard, we match that look that we saw on the back of the camera, and we've brought in a filter really easily. I'm Dylan with On1, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more new features.